everyone, it's Jay from Data Science Jay in Interview Query, and today I'm going over the Amazon Business Intelligence Engineer interview. At Amazon, the business intelligence engineers work with clients, product managers, data scientists, and database developers to actually translate data into efficient collection process while also being able to drive business decisions with dashboarding tools and ETL jobs. Frequently, the Amazon business intelligence engineers are embedded within the organization uh, across a hundred different teams. And so what you'll normally see is you'll see a data scientist, a couple of business intelligence engineers, a couple of data engineers, product managers, software engineers, yada, 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 within every single product team. So, what is the interview like for the Amazon Business Intelligence Engineer? BI Engineer for short, because right now I can't say it all, but essentially the BI Engineer interview process is like every other interview process at Amazon in which there is a hiring manager interview, a technical screen in SQL, and then an on-site interview where you meet with a variety of different people on the team, as well as an executive that quizzes you on the Amazon leadership principles. First off is the initial screen. So this is where they just come in and they ask you about standard behavioral questions. So give me an example of a time where you use data to make a decision about something, right? Or tell me about the most complex problem that you ever worked with. So here they're just really trying to understand if your background kind of fits the job description, but also if you're a good candidate for the role, can you communicate well to the hiring manager or the recruiter? and can you also display a general business impact that you've done in the past. The next part of the interview is the technical screen. In this part of the interview, they go over a cascading level of increasingly difficult SQL questions until you get to around five or six SQL questions total. So for example, they'll give you like an orders table and a customer's table, and they'll ask you something easy like, give me the total amount of orders of all time. And then as they increase in difficulty, it'll be something like, give me the top five orders created last week, give me the distribution of orders over the last year, etc. And so remember to practice your SQL, you can practice that on interview query. The last part of the interview is the on-site interview or virtual interview due to COVID. These might happen all during one day or actually over a progression of a week where you do one interview per week. Essentially, the way that they do it is that they have you interview with a data scientist, a hiring manager, an executive, and then also a couple of business intelligence engineers. The questions in this interview span across the whole breadth of data science, specifically around Amazon's problems. So a lot of them can be behavioral kind of questions that are going to be leadership interview questions, right? Where they're basically asking you, tell me about a time when you do this, give me a situation where you had to overcome a problem, Essentially, they ask you this every single time because you have to apply one of Amazon's leadership principles to that question for the first part of the interview. The second part of the interview is going to be more technical in nature. And so they can ask you anything about statistics and SQL interview questions, probability, also case questions that go around database design and ETLs. For example, if you want to check out the duplicate products case question that I did with Shashank, that's a really good example of a Amazon BI interview question in which they give you an ambiguous sort of problem. How do you duplicate products on Amazon's website and the database? And then you have to go through with the interviewer and figure out exactly how you would do it within an allotted amount of time and then also within a practical nature. A couple of good tips for the Amazon business intelligence interview is to use the STAR framework. The STAR framework stands for situation, task, action, and then results, right? And so essentially what you do is you basically create a situation, and that's usually the problem at hand, and then you have a task that you actually have to address. And then basically the action part is essentially what actions do you do to address those problems, and then the results is what are the results of those actions that you took. And this framework is really good for handling any kind of behavioral interview and also case interview that Amazon throws at you. Lastly, we've talked to a few different insiders at Amazon on the BI team, and they've said that one of the biggest things that they see on why candidates don't pass interviews because they don't do a good job of explaining and communicating their past projects or even situational interview questions asked in the interview actually relate to business impacts. And so 
what they'll usually see is that a lot of the times people can pass the SQL interview questions, they can get really good at SQL, and then they'll understand how to do very complex queries and analyze data. But at the end of the day, what they're really looking for is someone who knows what to analyze and exactly how those analysis of those results rely and actually feed into the business impact of the team that they're actually on. And so the manager of BI that I talked to said that so many times he gets really good SQL technical candidates that do really well on the technical portion of the interview, but can't do just simple behavioral interview questions or kind of explain their thought process on how something relates to a business as a whole. So remember to think about all your past projects, think about how different kinds of tasks drive business revenue or cut costs, and be able to relate this back into an overall story that you can tell the interviewer. Lastly, I'm gonna read off a few interview questions specifically asked during the business intelligence interview at Amazon. The probability of a product coming from location A is 0.8 and from location B is 0.6. What is the probability that customers will receive the product from location A or location B? If there is a project that you have never worked on before, how would you tell that the data you are using for this project is correct and you'll get the correct results? What are the different ways of query optimization and performance tuning? You have a website and you need to report the traffic insights on this website to the product manager. Write a SQL query to find the top 10 people that have visited the website in the last month. What are the assumptions of a random forest model? If you want to know whether people like a product, is there any statistical problem you can see when the analysis is based on their behavior on the website? Cool, thanks for watching everyone, and be sure to like and subscribe on this channel uh, to get more different kinds of data science guides. Uh, we're constantly updating these things, and so I would check the interview query blog and also the interview query website for more updates on the different types of interviews and the different kinds of interview questions that they're asking, especially as COVID-19 and virtual interviewing becomes more common for the relevant future. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later.